people welcome to my channel I'm Arpita Karwa and in this video lecture I'm going to talk about my online audio course I've tried to answer all your questions in this video so that by the end of this video you are sure whether you would like to join the course or you would not I'm also happy to announce that we have opened the registration for our next online batch in which we'll be targeting December 2018. I've tried my level best that through my videos, through my audios and through the course that I've prepared, I'm able to help net aspirants achieve their targets very easily. Also, I would like to tell you that there are people asking me whether net will be conducted once a year or twice a year. So. Till now, we are notified that NET will be conducted twice a year and from December 2018, NET will be conducted by NTA, National Testing Agency. Before I move on and talk about the enrollment procedure, fees, course detail and features, I would like to thank you from the core of my heart for the overwhelming love and feedback I've got. I started this YouTube channel and my website arpatakarva.com on 14th Feb 2018 and till now I have crossed 8,000 subscribers on YouTube. Then there are so many people praising our efforts. 5,000 plus people are interacting me through emails, WhatsApp and Facebook. We have got 1,500 plus registrations on our website. So thank you so much for the love. I am very happy to see that my hard work is paying off. I'm able to help net aspirants to achieve their targets, to uh, achieve their dream. And people are loving the online course that I'm offering, the systematic way in which I'm teaching and the detailed audio lectures which I'm delivering. Thank you so much, guys. So it's my humble request that please watch this video till the end because I'll be covering each and every question that people are posing about my course. So please watch this video till the end. And before I talk about my online course, I would like to talk a bit about myself, my educational qualification and work experience because I'm the one who will be delivering audio lectures. So it's very important that you know the trainer or the instructor of the course before you know about the course. So I did my schooling from Jaipur and uh, I scored 9.4 CGPA in my 10th board exams. Plus at the same time, I was serving as the president of literary club in my school. I was also the secretary of my house. I presented my school in various debate competition, elocutions, and thus I was awarded the best orator of the year. As well as I was also the editor in chief of my school magazine. And in my 12th standard, I became the head girl of my school and I served my school for a duration of one year. At the same time, while I was doing and organizing all these events and as a part of the literary club and as the president of the literary club, I used to organize various book discussions and debate competition. I got featured in various newspapers as well. Now let me talk about my work experience. In 2010, I met my mentor, Mr. Abhinav Thaya, and I started working with him in his soft skills training institute named Groom Institute. I gradually became a soft skill trainer and a personality development coach. I was also working as a speaker and volunteer in Oran NGO and we used to train college students and we used to provide them vocational training classes. As well as I also got an opportunity to work with Patrika in Education as a soft skills and personality development trainer. Patrika in Education is an educational wing started by Rajasthan Patrika in the year 2002. Rajasthan Patrika is one of the finest newspapers in India. As well as I was also working as a student editor in Times of India and I worked under Nikhil Kazmi. Simultaneously, I also had an idea to open my own soft skill institute and that led to the starting of Arpita's English Club, wherein I used to train IITunes, MBA students for group discussions and interviews. I also used to take various workshops on time management, goal setting, communication skills, body language. So from 2010 till now, I have a work experience of eight years and this is how I have grown myself over a period of time. Now I would like to talk about my graduation and post-graduation. I did my graduation that is BA Honours English from IAS University Jaipur. I was a topper throughout my graduation. I also wrote several research papers which got published in various literary journals. At the same time, after my graduation, I did my post-graduation from St. Xavier's College Jaipur which is affiliated to Rajasthan University. Also, I was a topper in my post-graduation as well. 
at the same time in the second year of my post graduation i attempted ugc net exam for the first time and i cleared it in my first time i was a general category candidate and i scored 54.83% whereas the cutoff for the general category was 49% You'll find all the details about my work experience and educational qualification on my website www.arpitakarva.com. There is a separate tab called About, wherein you'll see all the workshop posters and details, as well as you can find my net certificate as well. Now, when I cleared my net exam, it was very clear in my mind that I wanted to open my own online coaching for UGC Net English. The reason was like various. First reason was that from uh, childhood I've seen my father and my grandfather reading so much. They were Horatius reader. They used to have uh, reading and discussions on various books, and I was surrounded by art, literature, books, and discussions. So English was always something which fascinated me. Then I also was taught by some excellent English teachers who always inspired me to take up English as a subject and to take up teaching as a profession. When I was a kid, I came across this beautiful line which said that God has a purpose for my life and that is what I need to know. And when I read this line, I was always clear in my mind that I wanted teaching to be my profession, to be my career because I felt so energized when I taught students and I felt so good when I used to impart art values to my students so that fascinated me always there were movies like tare zameen pe uh, dead poet society hitchki three idiots which inspired me which made me cry which made me wonder whether i can do something to make this education system a bit more uh, flexible a bit more convenient to students i can impart knowledge in such a way that students start loving literature they start loving studies at the same time when i was preparing for net exam i came across several coaching institutes and i also came across people who could not guide me in a proper way i was always a very organized and a systematic person and when i started preparing for net some random writers were thrown to me i had to refer so many books so many websites and then i had to make my own notes and in spite of that thing when i solved previous year papers i was not able to answer them so i was very 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 frustrated and i thought that once i clear my net exam i will try to develop a platform which is a one stop solution for all net aspirants and i will try to teach them in such a systematic and organized way and i'll give them detailed lectures so that they don't need to refer to any other thing i'll try to reduce the burden of my students so that was the key idea in my mind as well as you know there was one important factor which always motivated me to take up uh, and start my own coaching institute i never wanted to get into school and college teaching because when i look at school teachers and college teachers i find that they are restricted to a syllabus and they are only able to complete that particular chunk in the entire year if i want to teach outside the box if i want my students to learn more from literature like in my videos also you can see how i bring writers and how i bring different movies into it how i bring time management and psychological principles so So this is only possible when I'm teaching on my own. If I have somebody who is going to tell me what to teach and who is always watching me that I don't go out of the box, then in that case teaching is never fun. So I always had this thing in my mind that I would be opening my own institute wherein I can impart knowledge in a very revolutionary way and I was always passionate about teaching like uh, this is what i've been doing since past 8 years and i've never got fed up so i knew that uh, yes this is the field for me so in order to teach net online through audio lectures i decided to form my own private limited company as an in effort i started arpita karva education opc private limited it is a one person company that means that i am the sole director of the company and it is registered under the registrars of company government of india At the same time I also developed a website called www.arpitakarva.com with an aim to provide a one stop solution to all the UGC net English aspirants and to help them uh, give a platform to them so that they can achieve their target they can uh, get a blueprint through which they can prepare for the next net exam so when I did this I had this thing in my mind that I should provide content for free as well because education is not just about minting money it is 
about helping people, helping society. So then in my website, I have five sections which are available to you for free. There is a section called UGC Net in which I am posting all the latest updates, notification which I've received from CBSE site. At the same time, it has details about application process, how you need to fill the application form, how to download admit card, how to check the result, how to know the cutoff. So all this information, updated information will be presented to you under the tab called UGC Net. Then there is another tab which is called online course content. In the tab called online course content, you will find a list of 700 plus writers that is segregated beautifully in different categories according to ages, topics and countries. And you can take the help of this list when you're preparing for net exam and if you're studying on your own. This is the same list from which I teach in my online course. Like if you click on any writer from this list under the tab online course content you will be redirected to my audio lectures if you have registered for my course and paid the fees but if you are studying on your own then at least you can take benefit from this list and then start preparing for net exam there is another tab which is called previous year papers in which i have typed all the previous year papers from 2012 onwards and i've made sure that i have written all the answer keys and i have copied the answer key from the original CBSE site so that all the answer keys are correct. There were uh, several students who mailed me in previous few days that some answers are incorrect. I have rechecked it and I've made the correction. So now all the questions and answers are correct. When I was preparing for net exam, the challenge that I faced was this that you know answers were not there question papers were presented in pdf form so it was very difficult to know whether i was right or wrong when i answered a question so i made sure that i give all the questions in my website at one uh, place so that whenever a student is preparing it just needs a click and that question paper comes to that student then there is another section which is called videos in which i post the link of all my youtube videos i post videos on my youtube channel on every Saturday and Sunday specifically for UGC net aspirants in order to help them with their exam preparation I try to tell them the mistakes that people usually make what are the things that you can utilize and you can use in order to prepare better then I give certain video lectures on important authors and important works and links of all these videos are posted in my website under the tab of videos I also have a section which is called blogs like I was a psychology student I I did my BA honors in English with psychology as the subsidiary subject and when I worked under a psychiatric research center and I uh, interacted with famous psychiatrists and psychotherapists then I came across certain life tips and you we used to share how to live life and how to control emotions so I thought of making a blog a non-literary blog wherein I can share some life hacks some life tips with my students so that is a section of blogs if you love reading blogs then do go and check my blogs and let me know how you find that so these are some important uh, areas that you can explore in my website side by side i'm also running a social media chain which includes a facebook page instagram page uh, a channel on telegram whatsapp and as well as I'm also having a page on Google Plus and on all these social media platforms, I have posted GoNet quiz and famous quotes by literary genius. And I've tried that, you know, by the use of technology and social media, we can add fun into learning and we can also uh, know how literature is relevant to everyday life. So this is a free initiative taken by me and my team in order to make learning more fun and in order to spread the word of literature. Now let's talk about my online course and I'll be answering all the questions one by one. Now there are people who ask me that why are you taking online coaching? Like why not classroom coaching? So when I thought of teaching UGC Net English aspirants, I give a thought to uh, classroom coaching also. But then I thought that there are several demerits of teaching in a classroom coaching manner. Because now since we can use technology and we can uh, make learning more convenient, it is 
quite beneficial if I teach online due to several reasons. Like one of the reason is that it's quite convenient. You can study from anywhere. There are people who are working. There are people who are into a regular PG college. Then in both the cases, students cannot devote time into uh, going into a coaching class and then studying there. The time may not match. So in that case, online coaching gives you flexibility that you can study from anywhere you can take your mobile phone or laptop to your college to your workplace and there you can listen to the audio lectures and you can make your notes then another important benefit is that you can study anytime uh, there are people who are into nine to five jobs or who are occupied with their uh, PhD work or occupied with their post graduation college work in that case they are not able to devote time during the day they might have to study at late hours in the night or they study early morning in both the cases you cannot go to a classroom coaching during these two times in that case online coaching is quite helpful because you can study anywhere anytime another important benefit is that it is a lot more affordable like Coaching classes are minting money, they are taking thousands of rupees, whereas in online coaching, the charges can be really low. The last and the final thing that I would like to tell you why I decided to teach online is that when you are teaching online, a student can study self-paced. Okay, it's a very self-paced learning. A student can study according to his or her own pace. Like there are people who can devote seven hours a day. There are certain other people who can just devote two hours a day. So with online coaching, you can study for two hours one day and then six hours one day. And then if you have too much time on weekends, then you can uh, devote 10 hours on weekends as well. So self-paced learning is a very very important factor when it comes to competitive exams because uh, when a person is preparing for competitive exam likely he or she is involved into other activities as well so convenience is very important and in order to make learning convenient I devised an online platform and I started teaching online now there are people who ask me that why can't you give your own handwritten notes why do you provide audio lectures guys I would like to tell you the reason why I'm giving you audio lectures and not handwritten notes the first reason is that I believe that handwritten notes are a very passive sort of learning because when you read notes given by somebody else you keep on turning pages after a few minutes you'll see that you start yawning and you feel like sleeping then when you turn those pages after reading 30 pages if I ask you a question from those pages you might not be able to answer it because your brain was not involved totally in this process whereas when you listen to audio lectures and you try to comprehend what I'm saying you're trying to understanding the thing and then you're writing that down you are involved in active learning and active learning is way more engaging you will be able to retain more when you learn through active learning mode Plus, another important thing is that I think that personalized notes or notes written by a student is way more beneficial than notes brought from the market. I have seen that experientially that when I used to study from my friend's notes, I was not able to understand things that better when I used to make my own notes. The third important factor why I don't provide my handwritten notes is that somewhere when I try to give you my handwritten notes, I'm not able to explain those notes to you. Like in this video, I'm trying to explain you each and everything. And it is way more clear than if you go to my website and read the things that I have just talked about. Similarly, when I am delivering my notes through audio lectures, I try to explain each and everything and I try to make them clear in your mind. Plus, all the notes that I've made during my UGC net preparation and I've shown that notes in uh, some of my videos as well, I've upgraded those notes and I've computerized them and now when I teach those notes, they are much better. Like now when I make audio lectures, the content is much more refined than the notes that are there in my copies because I've upgraded them. I've taken help of several other websites because when I make notes for my audio classes, I make sure that the notes are of finest quality. Plus, there are two more benefits of teaching through audio classes. First benefit is that according to psychology, if you incorporate three learning methodology, you are able to learn better. The learning methodology are audio, 
kinesthetic and visual now when you listen to lectures you are actually listening through your ears audio learning is taking place then you comprehend you understand you write that thing kinesthetic learning is taking place when you are writing the notes and then when you read that notes visual learning is taking place so you are learning through three sense organs and that is how you retain much better another important benefit of teaching online or through audio classes is that there are people who find it really difficult to read thousand pages of black and white information but then when we give them audio books or we give them audio lectures they are very happy they find it very fun and engaging so the same concept i have used here that rather than making the learning boring by reading so many books i have tried to make the lessons interesting and i've tried that all the non readers can also take benefit of the course plus there are people asking me why don't you provide video lectures why audio classes like there are so many limitations of video classes guys and that is why i turn towards the audio platform the first limitation is that it takes too much space my lectures are really big like on shakespeare i provide you lectures of about 5 hours now if i convert that lecture into a video lecture that will take too much space and taking too much space when you download that audio or you download that video it will take a lot of internet usage of yours it might consume like 1 gb data that is that would not be possible for people who are in remote areas or who don't have so good network connectivity that is why i chose a platform which is convenient for everybody across india plus there is one more technical issue with or video lectures is that you need certain softwares in order for that video to play in your laptop or computer or mobile like adobe flash player and several other uh, encrypted softwares are important whereas in my audio lectures you don't need any software it can run on any platform so that is why i chose audio online classes and not video or handwritten notes now people ask me that what is special about your audio lecture course and why should we go for your audio lecture course specifically now guys i'll be telling you all the things that i have included in my audio lectures the first important thing that i have tried to do in my audio lecture course is that i have made it in a very systematic and organized manner so that the student finds it very easy to approach this exam to understand and to connect various ideas together the second important thing is that my audio lectures cover 100% syllabus i have visited the website of various uh, great universities like delhi university bhu and i've tried to take the curriculum the ma and ba curriculum from those website and i've studied that curriculum and incorporated all the writers which are taught in their curriculum also i have Uh, seen previous 12 years papers and make a note of all the writers which were asked in these papers and then i have designed my course so that i cover all the important writers and all their important works and all other important and relevant topics the third important thing that i try to do in my audio lectures is that i try to make them in a very detailed manner first of all i talk about a writer's biography then i touch each and every work written by that writer i try to explain summary of each and every work in such a detailed manner that you don't need to go to any website and read the summary from there like if i'm talking about christopher marlow i have summarized each and every work in a very detailed manner and the entire audio lecture of christopher marlow is of 1 hour 20 minutes so you can see in how much detail i go plus i make sure that whenever i'm covering a audio lecture i give you all the important references and i cover all the previous year questions relevant to that audio lecture or that particular writer so i give you detailed discussion on the previous year questions particularly for that writer so that whenever you are approaching a writer you know that what sort of questions can come from that writer another benefit of my audio lecture is that they are self sufficient i have researched a lot of books a lot of websites when i was making notes for these audio lectures and i've made sure that i've not missed any important and relevant information 
I've also tried that I talk to you in a conversational tone. I'm not here to showcase my knowledge or how much I've read in all these years. I'm here to make you understand and I'm here to teach you in a such a manner that you are able to understand each and every concept to the fundamental level. So I speak in my audio lectures in less formal language and I speak in a very conversational tone. You might have seen the same in my YouTube videos as well. Also, I try that I talk to you and I tell you all the fundamental concept. Okay, basic concept should be clear to you if you want to clear any competitive exam. Mugging up, rote learning never helps. Okay, if I'm talking to you about Victorian age, I make sure that you know how the political scenario of Victorian age was, what is Victorian compromise. Then if I'm talking you to you about Elizabethan age or age of revival, I talk to you about Tudor dynasty and I try to incorporate each each and every fundamental concept so that you don't need to mug up information. Plus, all the theory and criticism uh, audio lectures are made in such a manner that I try to incorporate all real life examples so that the theory and criticism, which are like one of the most hard topics of this curriculum, is very easy for you. And I try my level best that I explain to you in such a manner that you don't need to waste time reading the same thing from several websites and understanding what all those websites are trying to say. I make sure that I make the concept so clear that you don't need to refer to any other material other than my audio lectures. Plus, the speaking speed is very low okay i know that students write when i speak so i have made my speed in such a manner that i try to match with the writing speed of the student also i try my level best that every word which is difficult to guess or difficult to spell out i spell that out i pronounce that word for example carpe diem i would spell that in my audio lecture c a r p e d i e m carpe diem i would spell that out so that the student doesn't make a spelling mistake while the student is writing plus one important factor is that i record all my audios in a recording studio i have made a recording studio in my office and from every day from 12 to 6 i'm in my recording studio recording each and every audio lecture which will be coming up next day so that there is no background noise audios are very clear you love listening to audios you don't get irritated listening to the background noise so audio lectures are very clear they are recorded properly in a recording studio with the latest equipments that i have bought now let's look at how you can enroll in my course or what is the enrollment procedure it is very simple you will hardly take two minutes of yours what you need to do is that you need to go to my website www.arpatakarva.com and there is a button called login sign up you need to click on the button a dialog box will open which will ask few details from your life your name mobile number and email id it will also ask you to set a password and a login id or a username do make a note of the user id and password so that every time you log in in my website you have to use the same login id and password the second step is that after you fill this form you are redirected to the payment page where you can use credit card debit card net banking or mobile wallets in order to make the payment the course fee is 5000 rupees plus 18 percent gst our company arpita karva education opc private limited is registered for goods and service tax and as an educational website we need to pay 18 percent gst to the government so the course fee is 5000 plus you need to pay 18 percent gst once you make the payment in the uh, payment page or in the payment gateway you will be redirected to a page which will tell you that your account is activated you can now log in through your user id and password also you will receive a confirmation email on your registered email id so this is how the payment takes place earlier we were taking payments through check or cash but then students told us that it is inconvenient for them so in order to make it more convenient we have integrated a payment gateway in our website and now you can pay online through credit card debit cards net banking or mobile wallets once you make the payment you receive a confirmation email next moment you can log in with your user id and password and you can access our audio lectures 
Now I would like to tell you how you will study once you pay the fees and you register in our online course. It's very simple. You just need to put your login ID and password and you can open the online course content page wherein you have a list of 700 plus writers segregated in 10 modules. You click on the writer. You will be redirected to a page where you will find the audio lecture of that writer. You just need to listen to the audio lecture. Just like in a classroom, you take down the notes while the teacher is speaking. Similarly, when you listen to my audio lectures, you need to keep on jotting down the points. And once you have jotted down the points, if you have any doubt, you can call us, WhatsApp us or email us. All the details are given on my website. You can call us, WhatsApp us or email us and ask as many questions as you have. I am in my recording studio from 12 to 6. So I am not able to pick up calls. My team picks up the call. And once you tell them that this is the query, before they go home that day, they sit with me after 6 p.m. and they give me all the queries that I need to answer. And before I go to sleep, I make it a point that I answer all your questions, either through voice message or through calling so this is how i go about with the course don't worry about problem solving because i make sure that i revert back to each and every student within 24 hours and i make sure that students are satisfied with my answers the process is very simple you just need to listen to the lectures make the notes if you have any doubts you can call us anytime the office timing is from 12 to 6 so we only pick up call during 12 to 6 if you call us before or after this time then you'll receive a call back between 12 to 6 next day plus as well as if in case you have any doubts during the weekend saturday and sunday when our phone is not available we don't pick up call you can definitely drop a whatsapp message and on monday we make it a point that we answer your questions so our working timing is from monday to friday every day from 12 to 6 pm we don't pick up call before and after that i would answer your questions queries after 6 p.m. once my team tells me and gives me the list of queries that students have asked me in the course of that day. So this is how we make learning extremely systematic and extremely organized. Now there are people who ask me that why don't you teach through WhatsApp? Like why do you make a platform and why do you teach through your website. Let me tell you guys, I am a very organized person since birth. And you can see that in my work, in my website, the way I've presented the course content and in my YouTube videos as well. I work on a very step by step manner. And that is how I'm able to teach in a very effective manner. And all my students love me. You can see the testimonials on my website. There is a page called testimonials in which my students who whom I taught during Arpita's English class I taught them spoken English personality development or soft skills they have given their reviews about me so you'll find that in each of the reviews they have said that I try to make learning very fun and I'm very organized teacher so that is why I don't find whatsapp as an organized way of teaching the problem with whatsapp is that if the memory or the storage of whatsapp get filled up then you need to uninstall the whatsapp and reinstall it and when you reinstall it then all the audios are lost you cannot track the audios which are there on whatsapp like you cannot identify which is the audio for which author or which topic but in my website once you log in using your user id and password and you click on any writer you will be redirected to that audio lecture so it is a way more convenient way to teach now before i end the video i would like to answer some frequently asked questions and my team has given me some questions which people ask them continuously so i would like to answer all those questions in one go so the first question that i receive from students is what is the language of instruction guys i teach in english since it is a course which is preparing you to become a lecturer in english i seldom use hindi and even if i have to explain any topic in hindi i make sure that i explain that topic again in english as well so the language of instruction is english the second question that they ask me is the duration of the course. Guys, the course is for six months. I cannot make a course of two months or three months because I believe in providing quality content. And I know that the course is so huge that you cannot cover it in a duration of two or three months. So I make a course of six months. The course will run for six months and will be valid till December 2018's net exam. So whenever the net exam will happen in the month of December, till that day, your course 
will be valid. After that, your user ID and password will expire. And if you want to rejoin the course, then you need to go through the enrollment procedure again. There are people asking me, can we download the audios? Guys, you cannot download the audios. You can pause the audios. You can listen to them number of times. You can rewind them. You can fast forward them. You can pause them, but you cannot download it because of the copywriting issue. My entire legal team is working for the copywriting and piracy thing. My father has done LLB, so he's also working with the copywriting thing because I make so much effort in delivering the best content and I don't want the audios to get copied. That is why I've not given you download option you can listen to the number of times they will not be deleted from the website even if you have an audio today it will be available to you till December so you can listen to them as many times as you want there are people asking me what are the number of seats in your course we take limited students the number varies according to the batch and according to the uh, team that I have and how much queries we can answer in one day because for me student satisfaction and quality is the key I would never compromise on quality and I make sure that I answer each and every query so if I take a huge number of students I would be overburdened I would not be able to give quality content and I can never compromise with quality that is why I make sure that I take limited number of students once the number of students are registered they make the payment we close the registration and then we don't take registration of any any new students people ask me what if we join a course after one month like suppose a student is not able to register now and that person registers after one month if the registration is still open till that time what will happen in that case in that case you will get all the audio lectures of that one month together that would be available on my website and every day five new audios you will be getting Okay, I would explain this process again. There's a question that students ask me that when are the audios delivered? Do we get all the audios together or do we get it after a period of time? So guys, we upload five audios every day from Monday to Friday without fail. From every Monday to every Friday, every day at 12 a.m. at the night, you will get five audio lectures which will be there on my website till the next net exam. Okay, I don't give all the audios together because then the student uh, has this habit that the student will um, you know listen to 10 15 audios in one day and then forget that he has to listen to the audios again and in order to maintain the continuity i've made sure that i upload five audios every day from monday to friday saturday sunday i don't upload audios because i'm working on the videos for youtube also i like my students to revise on the weekends on saturday make sure that if you have missed any audio lecture you were not able to listen to the audios of wednesday make sure that you listen to that audios on Saturday and on Sunday you revise whatever you studied throughout the week so this is how we continue with the preparation if a student joins one month after we have already started with the course then that student will get the audios of one month together and then from the next day he'll be getting five five new audios every day there are people who ask me the length of audio lectures now, length of audio lectures de uh, depend upon the writer. For example, for writers like Shakespeare, I have an audio of five hours. But then for minor writers, I give audios of 15, 20 minutes. So the total audios that I give you is 700 plus audios. You will get 1100 to 1200 audios in my entire course. But I claim to give you 700 because I believe that we should claim less and give more. Also, if you total the amount of duration of all the audio lectures, it will be about 200 hours. So the total course is of 200 hours, which will be valid for six months. There are people who ask me that can we access the audios from mobile? Yes, guys, you can use, you can uh, listen to the audios from any device, be it computer, be it desktop, be it laptop, be it tablet, be it mobile phones from any platform. But with only one limitation that once you sign out from one device only, then you can sign in into another device. So, for example, you are listening to the audio lecture on your computer in the morning. You need to sign out from the computer if you want to listen it from the mobile phone during the day or towards the night. So you can use multiple device that is not an issue. There are people who ask me that who records the audio. So I am the one who make notes, record audios, record videos and answer your queries. So these four things are exclusively on my shoulders. Rest things I try to delegate it to my team. So audios you will always get from my side, videos you will always get from my side and query 
uh, answers you will always get from my side there are people who ask me can we get some demo audios yes guys we have already uploaded two demo audios on our website you go to our website click on the button course online course in that button you'll find a button called demo audios in which you'll find two demo audios you can listen to that or demo audio the way i teach in the demo audio is same the way i teach in my online course you can also listen to my video lectures on youtube because they are also delivered by me and are in the same manner so this is all about my course i've tried to answer all your questions if you have any other questions feel free to ask us we don't pick up calls before 12 pm or after 6 pm so please do call us between 12 to 6 pm if in case you call us before or after that time we will make sure that we call back between 12 to 6 pm next day we don't take up calls on saturdays and sundays you can definitely drop a whatsapp message or can email us if you have any questions any queries don't worry about answering and getting replies from my side because i make sure that my team answers each and every question each and every query of every student so with this i end the audio lecture thank you so much for your time and consideration and i hope to see you in my next audio online batch till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because i post videos every saturday and every sunday to help ugc net aspirants with their exam preparation apart from it if you are interested to join my course you can go to my website i have uploaded all the details that i have delivered in this video lecture on my website as well so you can go and check the details on the website itself thank you so much